Continuing our coverage here from ITSEC 2011, the exhibition floor, have an opportunity to stop by the SAIC booth and talk to David Reese. And we got some action going on in the background. Tell us, David, about some new innovations here from SAIC. So what we have here uh, behind us that's making all the noise is our um, next generation of the common driver trainer. Um, last year you saw we added a second seat so we could put a boom operator in an MRAP. This year we've also brought in a weapon system so we can now train the entire crew uh, in coordination, not just of driving, managing obstacles and, and convoys, but also then doing basic defense of the vehicle if they're in an ambush situation or as they appear to be. Um, or if they're dealing with any threats that pop up as, during the course of their, their journey. Sure. The system's in service with the Army, and we're, we're hopeful that this next variant will go into um, providing continued support for MRAPs uh, in the future. Sure. Now, what's the feedback been so far from uh, in the field? What's the feedback been from those using the trainer? Oh, CD, yeah, CDT is a real success story for the Army and, and for the modeling simulation community. Um, in terms of the ability to put people through situations that are dangerous to train in a live vehicle, um, get them up to speed with kind of difficult conditions and difficult situations before they get on the real platform, it, it's, just, it's just really been a cost saver, it's been a, a time saver, and at the end of the day, it's been a lifesaver. Right now, in terms of the technology of the industry, is this the first trainer that has the ability to have two people in, in the cab, then you've got the, uh, the turret trainer uh, as well? Um, no, there's a number of systems that can do two people. What's unique about what we have is this ability to change and configure the vehicle on the fly. So if you want to train in the morning, it could be an M1 Abrams tank. In the afternoon, you can put a couple of guys in and train an MRAP. You can network the systems together so you could train uh, uh, platoons of, of vehicles in movement, mix them up as you need to. Really support the kind of configurations of vehicles, configurations that you see in the field. Oh, that's outstanding. All right, David, for more information, people at home that can't make it to the show, where would they go online to find out about this uh, great innovation? www.saic.com. We uh, showcase CDT very highly on, the, on our website. All right, sounds good. More continuing coverage from ITSEC 2011 in Orlando, straight ahead.